A body scanner allows us to use technology to screen passengers and to identify where on the body items may be concealed. The Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, began placing body scanners in airports in 2007. In 2010, they were implemented into MSP. The type of body scanner that we have here and we've always had here is called millimeter wave. It uses a technology, essentially a radio wave, that is bounced off the passenger's body to determine if something is concealed in their clothing or concealed on their body. Unlike traditional metal detectors, body scanners are able to identify both metallic and non-metallic objects. When a person steps into the body scanner, they are directed to keep their feet spread apart and hands above their head. A rotating arm then moves around them. That is when the radio wave is essentially bouncing off the passenger's body. It is not an x-ray, it cannot see what's inside the body, it's only detecting things on the outside of the body. It then takes that information and through an algorithm, goes ahead and produces a generic image of the individual, and if there's anything that's been detected that's concealed, it shows up as a generic box on the generic image in the area of the body where the item was detected. Our officers then take that image and then just do a targeted pat down of that area to resolve what that alarm is, to make sure that it's not something that's harmful and that passenger is cleared to go. It's important to remember that we don't need to search the entire body because that has been cleared by the technology. This results in massive amounts of time saved for passengers going through security lines. The body scanner is designed to process about 240 passengers per hour. You know, if passengers divest all of the items from their pockets, they remove them as directed, keys, cell phones, paper, they can come into the body scanner, they have nothing concealed, they're literally cleared in a matter of seconds. Dankers noted that the images generated are non-identifiable and never saved, and health risks are minimal to none, comparing the radiation from the scanner to that of a cell phone or radio. Through intelligence and through experience, we know that uh, explosives are the number one threat against aviation. Often those are non-metallic in nature. Now, TSA uses more than just a security checkpoint, more than just a body scanner or a walk-through metal detector to detect these types of threats. We can do explosive trace detection. We can have canines that are trained to detect explosives. We have behavior detection officers. So we have many layers of security that are in play. This is just one of those layers. It is the most visible one, and it's one that we rely on heavily, but it's not the only one in place and I think it's important for the population to know that.